Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God bless you. I thank God for giving me this fine day. I welcome each and every one those who are watching. How many of you are happy today? Today I believe that Holy Spirit will speak to you. God will uh, touch your hearts and God will make you uh, spiritually edified, prosperous, everything in every area will be blessed, I believe, because the Holy Spirit is uh, moving. I can see the Holy Spirit moving. Hallelujah. So today also, um, when I was reading um, at my home, in my home today, when I was reading Bible, God gave me a word from Romans 8. Uh, it is Romans 8, 24, 24 and 25. For we were saved in this hope, but hope that is seen is not hope. For why does one still hope for what he sees? But he but if we hope for what we do not see, we eagerly wait for it with perseverance. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I welcome each and every one uh, prophet uh, Anil Benis. I welcome uh, each and every one uh, brother uh, Alvin Scott, Ka sister Karna Cruz. I welcome each and everyone. So today, this morning, I am going to share with you about from the book of Romans 8, 24 and 25. So before coming into the world, let us close our eyes. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you Lord for giving me this, uh, giving us this fine day. Holy Spirit, you speak through me. I submit myself to you. You give me a revelation prophecy, everything. Let the power of God be released and touch everyone's heart so as they to receive the word of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for all the clarity in every sense. And the name of Jesus be exalted. Done everything in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. So today I welcome each and every one those who are watching. While I was reading Bible in my home, God gave me a word to share with you. That is from Romans 8, 24 and 25. For we were saved in this hope. But hope that is seen is not hope. For why does one still owe for what he sees? So the Bible says, uh, we are saved by the hope. What is our hope? Our hope is in Jesus. Our hope is in Jesus and we are saved by this hope. The Proverbs says, the book of Proverbs says that when a wicked man dies, his hope also dies with him. But our hope is doesn't die with us because we are having an eternal life. So our hope still lives. Hallelujah. Even in this material world also, our, there is hope. Abraham had a hope. Likewise, all the servants of God in the Bible had a hope. Hallelujah. So today, maybe you are going through many tribulations. You are going through many trials. But I am asking you, do you have a hope? Maybe you are running a church. Maybe you are having a ministry. Or you are, a, you are having a secular job. But each and every, one, every person has a hope. If there is no hope, what is the value of your life? Hallelujah. So I am telling you that today this time, if you have a hope and if that hope is in Christ, Surely that you will see the deliverance. Caleb, Joshua, two men among the Israelites, they had a different spirit. They had hope in the, the Lord Jehovah. So they were able to enter the promised land. Here the Bible says, but we were saved in this hope, but hope that is seen is not hope. Why does one still hope for what he sees? So our hope is not in what we see with our eyes. We see many things. We are, seeing, we are seeing many things that is negative. Everything is negative. We are, the doors are not opened. The family is not blessed. The children is not blessed. Everything is negative. We are seeing with our eyes. But we, are, we have a hope. We are hoping what it is written in the Bible. Whatever all the blessings that is written in the Bible is for us. Hallelujah. So God is going to extend your boundaries. You are going to preach to many nations. You are going to travel to many nations. The blessings are yet to come. Hallelujah. Alvin Scott, Holy Spirit is saying that your ministry is going to extend beyond, beyond the limits 
Whatever you are hoping for, that is going to happen. It is going to happen very soon. Hallelujah. I see you, the finance arranging for you to, for you to travel. So it is coming in this season. So what the Bible is saying that what we are hoping, we are not hoping for what we are, the things that we are seeing with our eyes. But we are hoping for the things which are not seen. Even at the age of 90, God told Abraham that I will give you a son. I will give you descendants like that of the stars of the sky and also that of the, like the sand. Like the, I will give you descendants like the sand, like the sand of the sea. But he was around 90 years old. You can imagine that a 90 year old man cannot be got a son or he cannot have a, he cannot have a generation, you know that. But he hoped, he hoped because it was the Lord who said. So we have Jesus in us. Maybe the things are negative. Hallelujah. Sister Rosemary Epsira. Maybe you are not seeing anything with your eyes. But can you hope? The Bible says that. We hope. The, what the Bible says. If we hope for what we do not see, we eagerly wait for it, for it with perseverance. So we are waiting with much perseverance. You know, Hagar was a servant made in Abraham's house. And she was tortured. She was mocked by the wife of Abraham, Sarah. But she could not bear that. She ran away. She ran away. But the angel of the Lord appeared in the wilderness and said, Wherever you are insulted, wherever you are tortured, wherever you are humiliated, wherever you are lowered, you go back. And show your perseverance. Then you will have the hope. Many people are not having hope because many people uh, do not know what will happen to them. They have no hope in their life because they have no perseverance. Hallelujah. What the Bible says in uh, Romans 5. Romans 5. Uh, the th um, hallelujah. The third verse. And not only that, but we also glory in tribulations, knowing that tribulation produces perseverance, and perseverance character, and character hope. I am telling you that why many people have no hope. Most of the people have no hope, even the believers, even the believers in the church, they do not have hope, because they cannot face the tribulation, they want to escape the tribulation. They want to run away from the tribulation like Hagar. Hallelujah. Today, this time I am telling you that. If you face the tribulation, or if you are going through tribulation, submit to God, surrender, surrender to God. Then God will know that you are qualified to the next level. What is the next level? You will get perseverance. Hallelujah. When you get perseverance, then you will be promoted to the next level. That is character. Hallelujah. Abraham, Moses, all the men of God in the Bible, they were ordinary men. But when they were passed through many tribulations, they got perseverance. And after perseverance, they all had character. Even Peter, he forsake Jesus. But when he was having many tribulations in his life, God gave him Holy Spirit and he got character. Hallelujah. So today this time, if you have character, then you will have hope. Automatically you will have hope. Hallelujah. So Janet Parisa weeks. Janet Parisa weeks. Submit to the Lord. I see everything is negative in your life. There is even is not a single chance for you to come out. I think you are like in a well which there is no ladder to come up. But Holy Spirit say that. Today this time Holy Spirit is saying that if you hope in Jesus, your deliverance will come as if a rope is pulled Pull down, put down from a helicopter. If you are in the midst of a forest or in the midst of a sea 
as if a rope is pulled down for you to come up. Likewise, your deliverance will come. Your cousins will stand for you as mediators and will help you to come from your situation. That is what the Holy Spirit is showing. From the great finance problem, you are, you are wondering how you will come out of these finance problems. But Holy Spirit is saying that the God who called you will help you to come out. Hallelujah. God is going to extend your boundaries. Hallelujah. So I, I was speaking with you about, I was telling you about hope. Many people, even the believers, they do not have hope. Even when Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, when they were passed through the tribulations, they had a hope that the, their God Jehovah will rescue them. So they hoped in that. So they believed. They were not uh, afraid. They didn't run away from the tribulation. They faced the tribulation. They were not like Haga. Hallelujah. Even when Abraham was told by God to give his one and only son for, for sacrifice, he was ready. He saddled his donkey. Early morning he woke up. Early, a person who doesn't like to do a thing, you imagine, he woke up early morning as if he was doing a great a, a thing with much happiness. But his one and only son which he was, he was got after praying for a long years. And the one and only son God asked Abraham to give that son to me. So early morning he woke up, saddled his donkey and he mounted in order to sacrifice his one and only son because he had a hope that even if I lose my son, God will give me a son. Hallelujah. Do you have a son? Do you have a daughter? Are you facing through many problems? Do you uh, are seeing negatives in your sons, in your daughters? No, nothing uh, favorable in your children? Hallelujah. Everything, is everything negative? But the God who called you will give blessings to your children. Will, your life will be a blessing. In the end, your life will be a blessing. You must hope for that. God told Peter that. Jesus told Peter that. I, I will carry you till your, till your hairs of your head become gray. So Peter hoped for when he was uh, in the prison, when he was uh, in the hands of the enemies, he believed the word of Jesus, that Jesus will take care of him. Hallelujah. So whatever problems you face, many negatives, you have been waiting for a deliverance. You are, you are waiting for a blessing for years. Hallelujah. I tell you that if you hope in Jesus, your blessings won't be set aside. It will come to happen. Hallelujah. Many people heard the blessing of the Lord, Jehovah, that I will bring you into a place where the honey and milk flow. But only a few were able to enter that promised land. Why? What happened? Because those people had no hope. When they were put into the test, they tried to run away from the test. They murmured against the law. So they were not given the character. They were not having the hope. That's what Romans 5.3, once again I am reading. And not only that, but we also glory in tribulations. Knowing that tribulation produ produces perseverance and perseverance character and character hope. Hallelujah. So when, when you are going through tribulation, you are feeling loneliness. You are alone. You have father, you have mother, you are husband, you have wife, you have children, but you are feeling loneliness. Nobody, you are feeling that nobody is loving you. You are going through many tribulations. But understand, this tribulation is for you to build up your character. To give you more hope in Jesus. Hallelujah. Because God has stored everything for you. For all the goodness of heaven is for you. So you have to reach out for that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sister Bonnie Jean. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit is saying that. You are going to see the promise of the Lord that is kept for you. 
your ministry is going to re going you are going is going to cross the limits it is going to function hallelujah it will go high very like a rocket hallelujah i see um, a channel running like a tv channel running hallelujah and um, a live streaming like that hallelujah it is going to happen it is going to happen beyond nations hallelujah the trial which you now face it is only to build up your character so return to the strong hold i will give you double what you have lost says the lord hallelujah so it is going to happen today this uh, morning hallelujah so many people those who face tribulation understand that it is to give you uh, god wants to know that whether you have the ability to face the tribulation when we read the book of deuteronomy we can see that the israelites were made to pass through many tribulations they were made to pass through wilderness because god wanted to bless them the blessings their parents their fathers have never seen the they god wanted to give manna to them pouring from heaven which their fathers have never seen and in order the israelites not to become pride in not to become proud of themselves when they get the, all these blessings god wanted to pass them through many tribulations likewise you may be passing through many tribulations in your life but it is to bring give perseverance and then to give you character and then to give you hope hallelujah so we should hope for things what we do not see and not we we are not hoping for the things what we see <coughs> everything we can see hallelujah if you have deposit in a bank and if you do a certain thing that is normal persons do like thing <coughs> but if you do something without seeing anything in your account that is the hope what we see with our eyes without seeing anything hallelujah when i preach in my church i tell the believers in my church <coughs> if you have a children if you have children and there is no no money for you to give dowry at their wedding time but if you look for the proposals for your children without having a single money in your account that is faith what is by faith, what it is written in hebrews 11 1 the things faith is the substance of things that we have never seen we hope for the things that we have never seen hallelujah so all the men of god in bible had this faith hallelujah had this faith they had this hope hallelujah so i encourage you each and every one to have the hope what is said in the bible hallelujah hallelujah or rakaba shakaram the raven i beriba hope for the things hope for the things that you have not seen not for the things that you see hallelujah it is many things you are not seeing i i i see uh, jana full i see that i see that many great things god has taught for you you are you are in a wall i see you on the wall you can go that side or this side this side it is like that i see you standing on a wall on that side or this side anything might come at the moment but holy spirit is saying that you won't fall you won't fail you won't fall because a ga- a hand of jesus is he- holding you and you won't fall i see that and you will proceed and you will you will do the things that is in your mind hallelujah you will you will proceed 
don't be discouraged the holy spirit is saying that you put the first step and everything will come in your favor because this is the right time this is the right time there is nobody to encourage you but today holy spirit is telling that if you hope if you have hope in jesus the thing which you do that will be a blessing you are trying to plan something you are trying to cultivate something you are planning to do some business hallelujah i see a pot and that pot is the blessing of the lord hallelujah you are going to do that with much great blessing and it is going to be flourished hallelujah so i tell you that need not to be worried hallelujah everything comes in your favor so you should hope for the things which you have not seen abraham waited for with much perseverance for seeing a child he waited for many years at the age of 90 and 95 and even at the age of 99 he waited because it was god jehovah who told that i will give you descendants as many as like the stars of the sky like the sand of the sea so he waited with much perseverance the ne- situations were very negative there is no even a slight chance for, to hope for maybe there is uh, no chance for you to hope sister samina lloyd a letter is coming to you a letter is coming to you and you hope for that letter and that letter is coming maybe it is a telephone call maybe it is a letter but an invitation is coming and that is from the right person it is from the west west side of you hallelujah that comes from the west side of you now the situations are negative nothing to hope for there is nothing to hope for i see that but holy spirit say that you are you are don't look at the things when you open your eyes it seems everything negative but don't hope for that things but hope for the things which you have never seen the promise of the lord that god has kept for those who love god which a person has never seen a person has never heard has never thought in his heart that god is going to give you hallelujah in the name of jesus amen so god is touching each and every one hallelujah so many things happening people are not having hope you hope in jesus if you have no finance what god did jesus when he was doing the ministry he was in the village and there was no food there was no food for the people the disciples had no hope they said that we are in a village remote village there is no hotel no provision for food the disciples had no hope but jesus had hope jesus asked what you have what you have bring and they brought fish and bread and with hope he blessed you know what it happened it was multiplying so the situations were negative the situations were negative hallelujah the disciples looked at the negative situations they saw we are in a they found that we are in a remote village there is no hotel there is no provision for food but jesus didn't look at the negative situations he looked above he looked above the power of the god he was sure that when he bless it god will multiply it because of that sh- assurance he told the, the people you sit in one by one he told them he told everyone to sit in numbers so he ordered them to sit because he was sure 
he was sure what he hoped for hallelujah this kind of hope you want <coughs> what you hope you must be sure that god will give you hallelujah are you you are uh, seeking for a vehicle kathleen kendrick you are seeking for a vehicle i see a four wheeler coming to you hallelujah i see a four wheeler coming to you you are hoping for that for a long time no money no provision but your hope won't be futile it is going to happen god is going to give you i do not know how god is giving but you are going to get hallelujah so i am going to pray for you hallelujah i encourage you everyone to hope for the things which you have not seen hallelujah so many miracles will happen in your life if you hope for that hallelujah maybe your body is weak you are carrying a disease in your body and the doctor has said that there is no chance of feeling but if you hope that our jesus has taken all the diseases on the cross and if you hope for a healing surely you will get a healing at this time hallelujah the bp is healed the blood pressure is healed right now hallelujah the leg pain is healed right now in the name of jesus everything is healing i see the god releasing the healing power right now need not to be afraid hallelujah oh shaka nandaraba so let us close our eyes hallelujah father in the name of jesus thank you lord for giving this fine day to us thank you lord for giving me an opportunity to come on life those who are watching i submit to you lord with much hope they are waiting for you to touch them lord release your power release the healing release the anointing release the prophetic anointing let them see visions let them see visions which much clarity hallelujah some some people are afraid what will happen to them in the future right now comfort them holy spirit give them hope give them hope in jesus lord touch each and every one you will be given in abundance aid aid uh, morals holy spirit is saying that a holy spirit is saying a word abundance what you lack abundance something connected with fisheries holy spirit is saying abundance i don't know what you are doing holy spirit is saying a word fisheries and abundance hallelujah it is going to happen or shakalam haraba i pray each and every one those who are struggling those who are seeking for a word from holy spirit speak to them lord i pray in the name of jesus give them hope let in this season they see the blessing of the lord what they have been hoping for years with perseverance lord let that hope be fulfilled in this season today itself today is the day bless them lord i pray in the name of jesus those who have a pain in their body right now be healed i see some allergy healing healing take place allergy healed right now eosinophilia healed right now hallelujah bronchitis healed right now in the name of jesus thank you lord for touching each and every one those whose marriages are not been occurred those who have been waiting for a marriage holy spirit is saying need not to be worried what you have been hoped in my name holy spirit is saying that is going to be fulfilled hallelujah because you are hoping in jesus it is going to happen those who are not able to continue their studies those studies who have been broken holy spirit is saying finance is providing for you finance is providing provided for you finance is provided for you god is providing finance for you i see that angels bringing finance for you it is going to happen you are going to see the things happen hallelujah raba shakalanda raba 
put on the armor of god hallelujah do the work of god and you will, your desires will be fulfilled hallelujah many people are passing through tribulations but holy spirit is saying that this is only a test to take you to the next level to give you character and perseverance and then hope the hope in jesus which abraham had hallelujah thank you lord for speaking through me thank you lord for the clarity in every sense jesus name amen hallelujah so today this time the holy spirit is saying that whatever you lack for whatever you are lacking but if you are hoping for that you will get abundance which you cannot count there there is a man of god bernard blessing he is from ghana i think he is from a, a country in africa you know bernard blessing the great man of god he once came to india and i heard his testimony he lacked the food in his childhood he lacked clothes he went to school he studied with only one dress in the evening he come and wash his shorts and shirt and with the wet shirt and shorts he will go the next morning to school and he was given food he, to him and his mother he was they were given food on the floor while the owner of the house gave food to his dog in a good plate so this bernard blessing man of god had to take the food from the upper part of that was given in the floor you know he was lacking food he was lacking clothes but what happened to him you can uh, you can uh, see the testimony of him in in his videos in the youtube you can see his testimony now he is sponsoring 6000 children around the world and he doesn't know who these children are likewise what you are lacking you will have numerous that you cannot count because your hope is in jesus your hope is in jesus hallelujah god is blessing each and every one crystal davis your hope is not in vain you are going to get numerous joke and our brother your hope is not in vain it is going to happen in this season it is going to happen in this season it is not in vain not futile i see the blessings of the lord's hand upon you hallelujah so god bless each and every one i will be on live next week same time in this um, in this group god bless this prophecy practice room and all the leaders and all the believers who are watching also uh, jacqueline her in all bless uh, each and every one what you hope for it is going to happen god bless you so um, we will be having the live uh, we will be seeing in the next live god bless each and every one amen